Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm all things wrestling, and today I'm going to be giving my comments, opinions, and the results of TNA One Night Only Joker's Wild 2017. I wasn't aware this was actually going to happen tonight, guys, so I've sat up till 20 past 4 in the morning watching this to make you this video. I have to be at work at 10 o'clock. Oh my god. Okay, the basic concept is uh, you have seven tag teams completely random with a ball in a cage and you can pick it out. And they advance to a final gauntlet match, and the winner of that wins $100,000. It's sort of their take on the old WCW Battle Bowl concept. Alright, we kick off with the first tag team, Moose and Davey Richards versus Matt Hardy and Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee seemed to be happy with tagging with Matt, Matt not so much. During the match, Trevor Lee tagged himself in. After that, Matt denies him the tag. Matt eventually goes back in. Trevor Lee tagged himself back in when Matt's planning to do the Twist of Fate. He go does the whole Matt Hardy uh, hand sing. And Matt's just like, hell no, boy. Hits a twist of fate and then Moose hits the game changer. Uh, Moose and David Richards pick up the win and they go on to the final gauntlet match. The match was alright. I enjoyed it. It got a 6.5 out of 10. Yes, it is technically a pay-per-view, so we do get match ratings. Uh, then we move on to Aaron Rex and Rockstar Spud. Yes, he's all completely random. Uh, versus Bad Bones and Jesse Goddard. Don't have a clue who any of them be, but Bad Bones and Jesse Goddard. Um, the finish happened. Rockstar Spud sends Jesse over the top rope. Bad Bones drops Spud on the steel steps. Uh, the referee is checking on Spud. Aaron Rex knocks him out with the knockout punch that he does. Eh, it was an alright match, to be fair. 6 out of 10. Standard stuff. Uh, then we had. Yeah, these are really completely random. Eddie Kingston and Bram of the DCC versus Robbie and Balaha Shahira. Uh, the finish happened. Eddie Kingston takes out Shahira's knee as he's holding Bram up. Bram gets the pin as Kingston holds down the feet and legs while on the outside with the referee not noticing to get the pin. I enjoyed that match. Um, to be fair, I gave it 6 out of 10. It was just... Standard stuff, it weren't bad to be fair. And then we move on to Michael Bennett and Braxton Sutter versus Tyrus and Crazy Steve. I have figured out after watching the entire show, I think this was filmed before the latest episode of Impact because they still refer to D Eddie as a champion and Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards work together when eventually it happens. So all the storyline progression is basically not here because I think they filmed this first. They didn't really... Ref people, the uh, announcers didn't really refer to anyone as champions and stuff. So, tried to keep it generic, but the wrestlers mentioned it. So, anyway, Tyrus and Craig Steve, my, Michael Bennett, Braxton Stutter. Uh, the finish happened. Maria steals Tyrus's chain off the announce table and then he chases her to the back. Bennett with a low blow to Steve. Blind tag by Sutter. They shove each other. Bennett gets sent over the top rope. He, uh, and then Sutter hits what I believe is a pepper shake and neck breaker, I think. Can't count me on that. Either way, it's a massive move and then gets a pin over Crazy Steve. 6.5 out of 10. It was pretty good, to be fair. Uh, then we have Jeff Hardy in DJZ versus Eli Drake and Paradise. Paradise. Uh, TNA producer Jimmy Long. Basically, he's doing his old OVW character, apparently. I don't know, but that's what I've got written down on my notes, to be fair. Uh, the finish happened. DJZ goes down and Jeff hits the poetry motion. And then DJZ hits a ZDT. And then Swanton Bomb from Jeff for the win. That was by far the best match so far. And it got a 7 out of 10. I did enjoy that. And then we move on to Jade and Sienna. Versus Laurel... And Ali. This was amazing. Okay, during one point in the match, the ref, um, Laurel tagged, no, Jade tagged in Sienna, or the other way around. Referee didn't see it, but he counted the tag. He didn't actually see it. What the hell? Uh, okay, the finish happened. Laurel slaps Ali. Ali slaps back and then drags her in. Uh, Jade with a gut wrench uh, and then pins Laurel. Sienna drops the elbow to break it up, but Jade moves. 
Uh, they attack both of them and they send Shanna into Laurel under her thing and then she hits the DDT because they knock her over. Ali with a code breaker and Jade with a package pile driver for the win. I enjoyed this match. The Ali actually can wrestle and then it has a lot of character development for her. She could play a really pissed off person. It was really good. I loved just seeing her wrestle. I give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, then we go to Eddie Edwards and Caleb Connolly versus Andrew Everett and Marche Rocket. Good match. Good match. Eddie Edwards with the Boston New Party to Andrew Everett for the win. 7 out of 10. It was pretty good, to be fair. If you like over-the-top rope spots and stuff like that, always fun. Then we get to our main event, the gauntlet match, featuring every single person that just won. I'm not going to list them all, because we'll list them all now. Uh, okay, first person to come in was David Richards, then DJZ, then Caleb Connolly, then Bram, Kingston, Rockstar Spud, and Eddie Edwards. That's seven people in. Then we have our first elimination. K- Caleb Connolly got eliminated by Davy Richards, and then DJZ got eliminated by Davy Richards. Uh, then we have two more entrants come in, Jade and Sienna. Uh, and then they just eliminate Rockstar Spud. Jade and Sienna eliminate Rockstar Spud. He was really entertaining in this match. Him and Aaron, uh, Aaron Rex has been pretty entertaining during this whole show, to be fair. I Kind of warning to, warming to him. Uh, speaking of uh, Aaron Rex, he comes in next. And then he eliminates Jade and Sienna at the same time. Good for him there. Then Moose comes in. By the way, when they were counting down, I just went, Moose! And he actually came out, which was really weird. Uh, then Kingston gets eliminated by Moose. Um, and then Aaron Rex and Moose kind of... Moose looks at Aaron Rex and he's just like, Nope! And then Aaron Rex eliminates Aaron Rex by jumping over the top rope. I thought that moment was very funny. Then Michael Bennett comes in. And then by accident, Davey Richards eliminates Eddie Edwards. Good moment. Obviously, they're not broken up in this point. Even though it airs after. Good going there. Then Braxton Sutter enters and Jeff Hardy enters. That is all 14 men. Uh, Then David Richards gets eliminated by Jeff Hardy. Braxton Sutter gets eliminated by Bram. Jeff Hardy gets eliminated by Michael Bennett. And then the final elimination, as in the people, uh, Michael Bennett gets eliminated by Moose. Then it turns into a one-on-one pin and submission match. Going over the top rope now has no effect. Uh, Moose squares off against Bram, which was kind of short. I was expecting a little bit more of a brawl, but they had been brawled for like 20 minutes in this match. So I think we can let them off. Uh, Moose with a game changer for the win. And Moose wins $100,000. And he is your winner of Joker's Wild 2017. It was pretty good pay-per-view. I haven't actually given the match itself a rating. We'll just go with the 9 out of 10. I enjoyed it all. But yeah, this was a generally enjoyable... Pay- yeah, it was, was actually a pay-per-view. Because you had to pay for it on the fight app. Or oh, I got it on the total TNA app, obviously. Because I pay for that £5 a month. Worth it, by the way, to give you all this TNA content. But I really, really enjoyed this. I wasn't realising it was going to come up. And it just popped up on PW Insider when I was going through about Joker's one night, Joker's wild, and I just clicked it and then went, oh, and then checked the app and then it was there. So I watched it and made this video. Funny how things work out. But yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you have. Subscribe to me more content and I'll catch you later.